Hello guys and welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to format your comic book or visual novel using mid-journey images and Photoshop. And in this example I'll show you how to add sounds or effects to your um, to your page. So first thing we want to do is to create a text. Uh, in example I will use a font called Crash Landing but you could probably google some fonts that should look cool in like something uh, comic style thing and uh, we will just type something like this the more make it a little bit smaller so the first thing that uh, I would offer you to do is to format this to be not that even so actually the font itself looks something like this but I've smashed it together using this tool and uh, the next thing that we can do is to offset our letters to be on a different uh, level or probably even different size for example we can do something like this put this like 130 110 you can also just change uh, the font size for example also you can experiment uh, with some other things that you uh, can see here I don't even know what some of them do yeah so this thing is offsetting um, on the horizontal line so you can experiment with this uh, for the sake of the tutorial I will not go deep into this so imagine that we are cool with this and uh, we are okay with how it looks so what we can do next is to add effects to this layer so we go here first we would like to add stroke so I will as always use a uh, 5 pixel uh, size uh, outside position and color you can experiment with this but we'll leave it black for now uh, the next thing that you can do is actually gradient overlay so here you can choose two colors and uh, you can actually create some kind of um, change from one color to the other uh, I will just use something like this probably too dark yeah something like this and one more thing is you can also add that should look good is inner glow uh, you can also experiment with uh, parameters here with blend mode with opacity with uh, actual color so I will just use white you can see okay, let me zoom in if we hide this you see that it's kind of adds some depth and it looks a little bit better uh, the next thing that uh, we can also do uh, we can probably leave it like this it looks pretty okay but you can also add some kind of dimension to it so you just uh, select this layer you copy you paste it to another layer and uh, you get the same image you can also paste it using Control shift uh, v to paste it in the same place and uh, what i would offer you to do is to first uh, use your transform tool Control t and change the angle to some kind of degree you can use 30 you can use 45 doesn't really matter you will see what exactly this thing will do and just apply this so after this select it and use uh, your alt blue plus uh, upward arrow to move this and to create this kind of dimensional shape you actually need to select this before you do this otherwise it will just create a copy um, on the new layer with a little offset so after you do this you once again select it you use your transform tool Control t 
and you uh, use the same angle you've chosen previously but with a minus so you get something like this and actually if we put it underneath you can see it kinda looks something like this so you can obviously change the color if you would like you can probably even use white here or something like blue doesn't really matter it's all your choice you can experiment in order to create something that you would really like but the main idea is something like this so if this tutorial helped you please leave a like comment and subscribe i will post some more ideas on how you can use mid journey so you can help me out have a good day bye